Welcome to Prime Tech. Due to this pandemic our college has started online classes. We have a timetable. We have to check it and click that subject's Google Classroom link and have to join through that link, which is a very tedious process for the people who are so lazy like me. There is nothing wrong in being lazy, even Bill Gates said, I choose a lazy person to do a hard job. Because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. So, I have decided to automate this entire process. Let's begin. Let's have a brief look at what we are going to do now. We are going to create a Python script which will open the link of the class using class name given by the user. To get the user input, I have decided to make a simple batch script which will take the input from the command prompt and pass it to our Python script. Our Python script can do things like printing the classes today, opening the class link and showing the present session. I have added an extra feature which makes this script so special. I will show it when we execute this script. Let me import required packages, calendar and date time from date time. We have to define a function which will return the day. So, let us define a find day function which will return the day. We have to find the day in order to know the classes today. From date time module, we can find the date and the time as date time dot now will return the date and the present time. Date and time dot day will give the day as integer dot month gives month as integer and same with dot year. In order to find the day name, we need day, month, and year in string format. So, convert it to a string and pass it to datetime.strptime. It parses a string representing a time according to a format. And then we get day from calendar by passing the date to calendar.dayName of the date, dot weekday. Let me just print it quickly. This thing will print the day name with initial letter as capital. So, we convert it to a lower case. I have created a dictionary of classes which contains subject name as a key and its link as a value end. Another dictionary of subjects which contains day name as a key and order of classes as a list as a value. Let me copy and paste it here. Now, let us define a find classes function which will return a list of today's classes. First let's find day in order to find today's classes from subjects dictionary. As subjects per day are not same on Sunday and Saturday, we have to write three conditional statements and three different lists which represent timings in the order. Let me skip this. We forgot to take an empty list. Now we have to format these lists as, timings first and then respective classes. Append this formatted string to subs list. Do the same for the Saturday and the Sunday. I have adjusted the range according to the length of timings list. And now let us define classes today function which will print the classes today and also marks the present session. Let's take subs list from find classes function. In order to know about present session, we have to take care of present time. 
datetime .now Time will return time as datetime object. So, we convert it into string and split it by colon. Which means, the first string in time list will be the hours, the second string will be the minutes and the third string will be the seconds. For every formatted string from subs list we slice the string into hours and minutes and check whether time now is in between the session time. I forgot to return the subs list in find classes function. Let's define the help menu which prints the menu which is a guide for our program. Now, define the open link function which opens the URL of the classes. To do that, we have to import the web browser module. Then just a single line of code webbrowser.open and pass the URL. And print the reference that it is opened. Now let's go to class.py and just imports this module from where we get the user input and make it uppercase in order to avoid case sensitivity. From classes today, import everything. Let's check whether the given input has any subject name, and if there is a subject name, open it by classes of input, which represents that classes link. There are three things left now. First one is for checking the timetable, the second one is to print the help menu, and the third one is to manage faulty input. Sometimes quotes helps us a lot to motivate ourselves. So, I took a list of 100 quotes and defined a function through which we can print a random quote between these 100 quotes. Let's just import it to the class file and make it to print whenever we check the classes today. And the final thing left now is to write two lines of batch script. First line consists of at the rate echo off. The second line is a simple Python execution command. Percent one here takes the terminal argument. As Python file name is the first system argument its index is 0 and the next argument is the user input whose index is 1. Hence, we took sys.argv of 1 as input. And it's finished. Go to the folder where you save the files and type cmd here to get the command prompt. Let's check today's sessions. We can see a quote and it worked. But this is little clumsy. So, let's add a line and a tab in front of all outputs. Now it looks good. Let's close it. And the final part of the script, which makes it special, is automating this script. Let's get the formatted subjects list and let us run an infinite loop, which will run all the day up to the last subjects link is opened. For each value in subs list check whether the present time matches the starting time of that subject. Before that we have to find the present time. We can do that from date time module, same as we done before. Let me copy this and paste it here. If condition satisfies it will open the link through the open link function and will wait for an hour. 
else the control will be passed to the next class. When the starting time of the class is equal to the present time, the link will be automatically opened on the default browser. Make sure that you are logged in with your mail account and the tab is recently opened. If the list reaches the last class, then C will become 1, and the for loop will be broken, and as now, C is 1, the while loop will also be broken. Let's execute this again. Check for today's classes. Ask for help. Open a subject link. It worked. Use the automation and let the terminal run on your background. I'm stopping this try it yourself. Now, it's time for Unix Lab. But its key value pair is missing so, it will show error as expected. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to make videos on Python for beginners. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.